Welcome to this short video, how to create a sensitivity table in Excel for financial modeling purposes. We have here a financial model which seeks to calculate the IRR for a um, gold mining uh, project. The model is structured that we have here an execut executive uh, summary with the main assumptions and the main output of the model, while all the uh, calculations are done on a more detailed uh, or more detailed sheet and tables on uh, on this on this worksheet uh, here. For our purposes, we don't want necessarily to focus on the model itself, but more on how to create one of these tables. These are sensitivity tables, and they basically tell you how the uh, IRR change uh, changes when you start changing some of the key assumptions. We have here, for instance, the, the gold price. If this gold price goes up, then you can see that the IRR also uh, goes up. This gives us um, a sense of the magnitude, how important are these assumptions on our financial model. And we also have an opportunity to, to rethink if the way we structured and we did the calculation in the model is is uh, logical if, if you look at the output of these uh, tables and will help us to get a better quality financial model. So the question is, how can you set up one of these tables? We have here two of these value, we call them value drivers, uh, important assumptions with, uh, which have a major influence on um, the output. One is here in uh, is the mine operating cost and then the mill operating cost to process the ore. And here these assumptions they <coughs> have they're using a figure in dollars per ton. So what we want to do is we want to basically figure out what happens if they increase or decrease. And same here also with the mill operating cost. So the first thing we need to do is we need to define well, by which steps these assumptions should increase or decrease. So we need here a field, it's called uh, steps. And in this case, we would say that these assumptions are changed by $0.5 dollars per ton. So in this case, uh, we increase the, the cost by 0.5. So here is the mine operating costs. We increase that. Voilà. <coughs> and we increase it up so here the change is one dollar and then we <coughs> decrease the cost um, basically uh, hold on <coughs> this minus uh, minus this this step is a constant so i put the dollar signs <coughs> up here and we have here now the changes are calculated we do the same here with the mill operating cost. So now it's um, the next uh, cell which defines what's the, what the step is. Um, this goes up and then <coughs> this here goes down. Voila. So our sensitivity, sensitivity table will, we want to tell us what will be the IRR if we do these changes up and down and this uh, column here is basically just the difference. What's the difference to the original base case assumptions? You see here it's $1 cost higher. We simply uh, uh, take the difference between this and, and, and this one. Uh, up here is the same, it's the same calculation. Then sensitivity tables, <coughs> they are basically are related to the corner here top left. So you need to link this to the output you want to, to study. And then <coughs> we also need to adjust our model. And what we want to do is we want to <coughs> insert this difference um, into the model. So we have here a field is called add-on. In the base case, there is no impact of any of these um, um, different um, <coughs> Uh, settings. So we need to go and search in our financial model where these um, <coughs> where these cost assumptions basically are having an effect effect on our financials. In this case, you see that here we have a base case assumption of nine point five, and then what we need to do is we need simply to add the difference of the cost. So this means, just show you that. Um, here, this one is just, hold on, um, 
um, here I will just finish that. Also, the mill operating cost, what happens if we start to mm. increase, decrease mm. these costs. So you can see mm. if we input here the add-on, let's say, of $1. So mine operating cost is $1 higher. Mill operating cost is $2 higher. But then you can see <coughs> here this changes into the assumptions. This basically includes the add-on. And then as we as all the other cells are linked, this will basically flow through and the calculated cost will basically uh, be calculated based on that scenario. So that's what we want. But in our base case, these add-ons, they are zero. And we only want them to, to work this way so that we, if we can run these uh, settings that we actually can do the calculation, figure out what's the effect on the IRR. So we are basically <coughs> here back to the IRR. Let me just check one thing. So now <coughs> it's pretty easy. All we have to do is we mark this. Then here there's a menu called uh, data table. So the first one is the row input seal. The row means these are these uh, cells. So these are the add-ons. We want them that they basically are <coughs> basically go through um, go through here. Then <coughs> we go to the column input. These are these add-ons. So we have to tell Excel, okay, now you have to put them here. We say okay, voila, <coughs> and. Here we go. In this case, um, what do we see here? In this case, we do see that if we <coughs> increase the mine operating cost, there is nearly no effect on the IRR. So the question is, if you have something like this, is that uh, correct? I doubt it, so we need to go back and check this. If we look at the mill operating costs, you see that if the costs increase, the IRR goes down, and then if the costs decrease, the IRR goes down because we have more profit uh, left. This is logical. But this one, mine operating costs, we need to check that. So <coughs> what we go here is data <coughs> tools, um, auditing trace uh, dependence. And you see there is no dependency here. That's the problem. And this problem we can fix uh, quite easily. So what we need to do is we need to... <coughs> hold on. Shortly need to check that. We have here the, um, the mine operating cost. In this model, <coughs> the base case assumption comes from, from where? We have here 950. And then we want to <coughs> include the effect of the simulation. So we basically include this one here. That's done. Then, <coughs> so I think, yes, here this was the issue. This one here, it takes P76, just to shortly check that. P76, that will be this one. And then we add the add-on, which is one, we don't need this, one, one o e 108. If we go here to summary, we see this is um, E108. So that's this one. And now you see, and uh, now this looks more logical. So what does this tell us? This means it tells us if the um, mine operating costs increase, the IRR, the project IRR will go down from 32 to 24%. If the mine operating costs in, uh, decrease, we also make here more profit and then basically the IRR will jump from 32 to 40. Um, what we also can have a look at is we have here this chart is called tornado diagram. So let's have a look here. We have here these two variables. We, <coughs> we run our um, sensitivity. We have here mill operating costs. That's <coughs> this one. And then we have the mine operating costs. That's basically uh, this change here. And now you can see here that, um, the, basically the bars. And here it's very clear that the mine operating costs are much more relevant to this model than the mill operating costs. So any change, we have here the same uh, changes, the same steps. And if we change here the costs in the mine by 0.5 per ton, this has a much larger effect on the project IRR than if we do a change here. So that will basically telling us 
this um, <coughs> this chart, which is basically just uh, an illustration of the figures here. So that's basically the purpose um, of this video to hope <laughs> I hope you you could follow and you now understand how you can um, create a sensitivity table in Excel. We hope this uh, video was useful. If yes, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and visit our website efinancial.models.com. Thank you for watching.